Hello everyone, my name is Shahzad Haider. I am PhD candidate in University of Science and Technology of China. Today I will be presenting the effects of using multi-voltage threshold transistors in asynchronous circuits. I will start with the objectives and contribution of this paper. I will provide you some background information on asynchronous circuit design and multi-voltage threshold technique. Afterwards, I will explain how we transform the regular circuit into MVT-based design with simulation setup, results, and finally conclusion. The asynchronous circuits consume less power and perform faster at large-scale circuits, but it performs poorly at small scale when compared to synchronous circuits. Some of many reasons include the additional circuitry required to implement handshaking mechanism and the DSM effects when implementing at nanometer scale. The objectives of this work focus on <coughs> transforming the Sense Amplifier Half Buffer design approach of QDI class asynchronous circuits by using multi-voltage threshold transistors correctly and efficiently. This work then observed the effects of using multi-voltage threshold in comparison to non-multi-voltage threshold based design and a quick take on achieving the optimal balance of voltage threshold transistors for fair trade-off between power consumption and propagation delay. This work observes effects of using multi-voltage threshold in asynchronous circuit. The underlying design of QDI SAHB cell is designed and simulated with and without MVT technique. The layout of cells were handcrafted for post-layout simulations. Both variations of MVT and non-MVT were compared, where MVT-based result in lower power consumption and improved performance. The asynchronous circuit design in digital design is often known as clockless circuits which provides benefits over synchronous circuits if the design is large and sparse, since there is no clock. The asynchronous circuits are robust and perform faster but require more area when compared to synchronous circuits due to additional handshake components for synchronization. The asynchronous cells with handshaking circuitry builds a circuit which results in complex but efficient designs. However, the design process of asynchronous circuit is complex and lack industry design tools. There are some tools being developed by researchers which target the remaining types of asynchronous circuits while the SAHB design approach still remain a custom design. Sense Amplifier Half Buffer SAHB QDI SAHB logic cell design approach is a fully custom design approach and hence time consuming but performs better when benchmarked against other QDI asynchronous circuits. It is based on static logic with two basic components for each cell, the SHB cell use NMOS only transistors in evaluation block to reduce the power consumption and increase the switching speed for logic realization and input completeness check. The design also use PMOS and NMOS transistors in SEM simplifier block to abide four-phase handshaking protocol and amplify the outputs <clears throat> from evaluation block. This design takes advantage of dynamic voltage uh, 
full scaling DBFS to work on nominal voltage as well as nominal with subthreshold voltage, which makes it faster and consume less power when compared to previous design approaches. Multi-voltage threshold MVT technique. Normally foundries will provide development kit with various parameterized cells, including regular, low and high voltage threshold transistors. A technique called multi-voltage threshold transistors can be used where both low voltage and high voltage threshold transistors can be used in a given circuit to reduce power consumption while maintaining performance. Low voltage threshold transistors are used on critical paths while high voltage threshold transistors are used on non-critical paths. Using the MVT technique require the designer to iteratively use and remove various voltage threshold transistors to achieve optimal performance. MVT based QDI SHB asynchronous circuits. The original work of QDI SHB cells were implemented and tested on 65 nanometer technology and implementing the same design at 40 nanometer technology without modifications results in lack of performance because of the effects of deep submicron and differencing technology. To observe how MVT technique can improve role in this regard, all the transistors were first replaced with high voltage threshold transistors to reduce the overall power consumption. The transistors in the critical path were replaced one by one with low voltage threshold transistors to increase the switching speed. This approach results in optimal margin of voltage threshold transistors using usage in SHB logic cells. Section A from figure 2 on the right side <clears throat> shows the evaluation block of SHB buffer cell where the transistors on the critical path are replaced with low voltage threshold transistors to speed up the switching even fa further. Meanwhile, reducing power consumption with a high voltage threshold transistor used at the control input at the top where section B of figure two shows the sense amplifier block, which extends the critical path from nominal supply voltage, amplifying the outputs of the evaluation block using the low voltage threshold transistors, since this can affect the performance. The area highlighted in red boxes represent the critical path where all the transistors are replaced with low voltage threshold transistors and the only transistor which is replaced for reducing the power consumption is the control signal which is on the top figure 3 shows the handcrafted layout of QDI SHB cell for post layout simulations. Even though the threshold voltage transistor parameterized cells are slightly larger than regular transistors, the cells still takes the same area as the extended boundaries in layout can be adjusted by changing the orientation. Due to a larger and several critical paths, it is visible from the layout where majority of the threshold voltage transistors are low voltage threshold transistors known as LVT where you can see the LVT PMOS and NMOS on the left side which covers a huge area when compared with the HVT and MOS transistors. Simulation setup. Cadence Virtuoso was used with 40 nanometer technology 
to design the schematic, the layout, and simulate the design. Post layout simulations and parametric simulations were performed using various processes, voltages, and temperatures using foundry provided SPICE models. The simulations were performed with 1 GHz sampling frequency and dynamic voltage ranging from sub-threshold voltage of 350 millivolts all the way up to 1 volt. Results. When the post layout simulation is performed with accurate SPICE models, the results show desirable reduction in delay propagation and substantial reduction in power consumption. The normalized power along with other parameters are listed in table 1. It shows about 23% reduction in power consumption and about 8% reduction in delay. The results show that the implementation at deep submicro can be improved by employing MVT technique for reduction in propagation delay and power consumption. Furthermore, in order to carefully implement the SAHP designs, uh, which may result in increase in area, the power consumption of SAHB buffer cell is reduced from 9.73 microwatts all the way to 5.43 microwatts. Similarly, the delay is reduced from 386 picoseconds to 269 picoseconds. The energy product and the power energy product and the energy delay product of the MVT design show improvement from non-MVT based designs and you can see the, the difference is quite substantial in this case. We investigated the effects of using MVT in asynchronous SHB buffer cell with and without MVT transistors implemented at 40 nanometer CMOS technology. When compared with previous work of SHB and PCMHB implementations at 65 nanometer without MVT design methodology, our results show further decrease of nearly 23% saving on power consumption and nearly 8% savings on propagation delay. Thank you all for listening. Please ask if you have any questions.